Hey guys, it's Richard at Elfins. Wanted to take you through a couple of trades again today. Uh, one is Synthetics SNX, which is a, a popular DeFi project. And the other one is uh, Chainlink. Of course, most uh, are familiar with Chainlink as well. Both of them are showing some really bullish price action. Um, let's go ahead and uh, review, first of all, if we go to the screener, review the the trade that I did yesterday, if you watched the video, there were also a couple of breakouts. One was uh, Binance Coin, which um, which broke through, broke out of the ascending triangle. So if you go to the curated chart, which is our own in-house technical analysis of the top 30 coins, <clears throat> you'll notice that we identified a breakout at the $300 level. Uh, which was also a breakout of our out of the ascending triangle pattern ascending triangle pattern is a bullish continuation pattern and indeed we saw a p bullish breakout we um that i i did go ahead and place a trade if you if you connect your exchange apis to our platform then you'll be able to see your trades in the chart and that's a good way to keep track of where you bought it or sold it uh, here on their show on chart if you select show my trades on chart you'll you'll get to see your trades. so yesterday i can see that i bought my position at 312 dollars right now it's at 350 so i'm up about uh, 10 percent or so in a day um, now we're approaching the price is approaching the all-time high about 350 so this is going to be a tough resistance here uh, but if we clear that uh, we could really moon uh, MACD is still very bullish, RSI is rising, also very bullish, although reaching maybe some overbought uh, territory, but I'm going to keep this position on for now. Uh, the other trade we did yesterday was Tezos. And there was another similar situation. Um, if we go to curated chart again, um, again it was consolidating in an ascending triangle which it broke out of yesterday. And, uh, and that level was 450 and now it's at uh, five and change. Um, it's given up a little bit of its gain uh, at, at this point. We're looking at, uh, you know, some resistance here, but really I think, again, I think uh, my target is about 550 or so, which is the all time high. And again, this one has some bullish uh, momentum, both RSI and, and MACD. So I'll keep this position on for now as well. If I look at where I entered the trade, show my trades on chart, I entered the trade at $4.78, so I'm um, up, uh, up uh, maybe 5% or so, so far. Great, so let's take a look at uh, some interesting situations today. Um, when I go to the uh, patterns section, this is, this is now our automated system that detects patterns on four different intervals so i'm on the daily interval but you could go to the four hour one hour or 15 minute interval and i like to um, look at uh, resistance breakout so um, if you type in resistance here in the search box you'll see some resistance breakouts and and the one that caught my eye today here is this one right here where um we can see that synthetics SNX has been consolidating in a triangle. Symmetrical triangles are neutral formations or patterns, meaning that there is a indecision in the marketplace and it could really break upwards or downwards out of the, uh, the triangle. So there's no, no reason to try to predict which way it breaks out, but ra rather wait for the breakout. And here we do see seem to have a breakout uh, a bullish breakout to the upside and if I look at the chart um, SNX then uh, let's see let's see. I always look at key levels resistance and support so the key levels here are around that $20 level you see that that on various times, sometimes that was resistance, then it was su support here, resistance here. And so this $20 level is, is very, is, you know, it's a key level. At this point, it was a resistance that was broken. 
and it looks like it closed above that level. Now I could wait for another day to make sure that it's not a, a false breakout. Um, but if you're more aggressive and I see that MACD is had just recently crossed over uh, the MACD signal line, which is a bullish momentum indication, and, and the RSI has also crossed over 50, and now it's uh, 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 rising as well. Um, that's also bullish. The volume has not been that convincing. It's kind of flattish. Um, I'd like to see a little more volume on this breakout, but um, good enough for me. I'm going to put a half a position on right now and maybe a half a position on later. So um, let's go ahead and place those trades. Uh, and actually, one other thing I wanted to check is my alerts. I, um, I put I create alerts, price alerts, and MACD crossover alerts for uh, a number of coins that I keep an eye on. And that way I know when there's opportunities. And here I saw Chainlink. I got alerted yesterday that I had a bullish MACD crossover, right? Um, and so I could, I could take a look at this chart here. MACD is really useful extremely useful probably the best indicator in terms of momentum uh, I see that indeed if I look at the three month chart indeed there was a bullish crossover um, a day or two ago uh, that was basically yesterday um, since then there, we had another um, green candle closing and it just broke through that $30 level $30 level if you go back again to my curated chart section um, actually, we can take a look at it here. So chain link, curated chart. Here we see that we also identified thirty dollar level as a key resistance level. This 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 coin had been consolidating in the sideways channel and now it's broken through this $30 level. Now, it's had a couple of false breakouts and this could very well be one of them, but you got to roll the dice sometimes when uh, the evidence is, is positive and the evidence seemed, seems convincing in that OBV is rising on balance volume, so there's more demand than supply. MACD has crossed over into buy, there's good momentum, RSI confirms that as well. So the evidence seems skewed to the positive. You know, if you don't if you don't play, you can't win. So we're gonna put um, an order on on uh, chain link as well. So I'll go ahead and go to the uh, the trade tab, and there um, I can. Let's see. I think I still have some available cash on Kraken. All right. Kraken and I want to go ahead and buy some synthetics. All right, indicating that I have about $2,000 left. Let's see if there's another pair. Nope. All right, I guess I'll use the $2,000. And let's take a look at the chart one more time. Make sure I'm on the daily interval here. All right, and actually back to the hour interval, it's good to see how it's behaving around this $20 level. It's crossed it here and it continues to trade higher. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a buy limit, the order book. Let's see, best price, all right. I'm willing to take a slightly worse price just to get filled because I do think that this there's about 20% upside here to the next level of resistance. I want to buy $2,000 worth, so I'm going to use 100% of my USD cash, 96. Let's go ahead and send this order. Yes, I want to place this order. Order was placed. All right, it's sitting in my open orders. I'm going to cancel yesterday's order. Yesterday I was trying to buy Binance coin 
at two levels one went through the other one didn't obviously at uh, 310 it's not going to go over now since price of Binance's coin is around 350 now so I'm going to cancel that order free up some capital here and the other the coin we wanted to buy today was uh, Chainlink all right and I have some available balance on, on Kraken again let's take a look at the chart here's the hourly chart like I said the $30 level was a sort of the the resistance level that we've broken through now it's returned back a couple of times to it and and it's bounced off so it's holding the $30 level on the one hour chart and so um, that has confirmed this breakout to some extent and let's go ahead and place this trade look at the order book best price quantity uh, let's say I want to buy about five thousand dollars worth so me all right send the order as well and it looks like the other order that was sitting in my open orders went through and this one is also sitting in here hopefully it'll go through as well so those are the couple of uh, interesting situations that I found today I wanted to share with you Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us at support at alphins.com. Have a great day. Enjoy the holidays.